Now that our lambda create function command is ready to go, let's copy paste it in our AWS Cloud Shell, then hit enter. In the response JSON, confirm that you see the state as pending and the state reason as the function is being created. Consider this, you want to create and invoke a Lambda function from AWS CLI or command line interface. Can you do this using AWS Cloud Shell? Let's find out. Let's start by firing up our AWS Cloud Shell, then type mkdir or make directory, followed by my Lambda from Cloud Shell. Use the cd or change directory command to go inside your Lambda folder, then create a brand new file called lambda underscore function dot py. Inside this file, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code that starts by importing the JSON and the requests module. Inside my Lambda handler, I'm using the requests.get method to grab the NYC weather information from this API URL. Next, I convert my API's response into a JSON object, then extract the current NYC temperature in current underscore temp variable. Finally, I include the current temperature in my return string. Let's save and exit out of this file and install the requests module. Type pip3 install requests followed by hyphen hyphen target and a period. This tells the Python installer to install the requests package in the current directory. Use the ls or the list command to confirm that you now see the requests package and all its dependencies installed in the current directory. Next, let's zip the contents of the current directory by typing the command zip lambda.zip followed by hyphen r and a star. Use the ls command to confirm that you now see a lambda.zip file in your current directory. Next, let's construct our AWS lambda create function command. For function name, I'm passing the name of my lambda folder. For runtime, I'm specifying Python 3.10. And for the zip file, I'm specifying lambda.zip file that we just created. For handler, I'm specifying the lambda underscore handler method in my lambda underscore function dot py file. Finally, we need to specify the ARN of our execution role. Let's head to the IAM console, click on roles, then hit create role. Choose lambda as your use case, hit next, then search for CloudWatch. I'm going to select the CloudWatch logs full access policy, hit next, then give your role a name. Click on create role, then let's copy paste the role's ARN in the create function command. Now that our lambda create function command is ready to go, let's copy paste it in our AWS Cloud Shell, then hit enter. In the response JSON, confirm that you see the state as pending and the state reason as the function is being created. Then hit the Q key to exit out of it. Next, let's run the AWS Lambda list functions command, then pipe the output to grep and search for the my Lambda from Cloud Shell keyword to confirm that we see our Lambda functions ARN in the output. This confirms that our Lambda function was successfully created. Now, let's work on the AWS Lambda invoke command so we can invoke our Lambda function from the command line. For function name, I'm passing the name of my Lambda function. Next, for my input parameters, I'm specifying the CLI binary format. Since my function doesn't require a payload, I'm passing an empty JSON message. Finally, I'm specifying response.json file to collect the response from my Lambda function. Now that our Lambda invoke command is ready to go, let's copy paste it in the AWS Cloud Shell, then hit enter. Confirm that you see a status code of 200 
which means that our lambda function was successfully invoked. Next, let's run the cat command to output the contents of the response.json file and confirm that you see the current temperature of NYC listed as the output. We can also confirm this behavior by going to the Lambda console and invoking our Lambda function manually. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a flashlight to AWS Cloud Shell?